in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed it was an attempt to teach us how to preserve, not only to advance, but to preserve the secrets. We call it the ordinances of God. Are we together? One of the most tragic things that can happen to a people and a territory is to have an interface of generations that cannot connect spiritually. Are we together? So you have a generation of men and women who love God and honor Him and passionately seek Him. And then you will find out that there is a gap of 10 or 20 years and the generation that arises from that breed completely are antagonistic to the values and the passion of the generation before them. History is full of territories, cities, nations, localities, that pioneered certain strange and notable dimensions of God. But sadly, those dimensions were robbed eventually. They were hijacked by the inability of those who were used to pioneer those revivals. They knew how to birth revivals, but they did not know how to preserve it. Are we together? Preservation is very important. It matters to God that the generations that come, that our children and our children's children, they must be able to hold on to the template of our convictions. And there is a system designed to make your child and your child's child know and believe your God. There is nothing as dangerous and disheartening for a father as seeing his child not serve his God. He says, as for me and my house, not as for me alone, not as for me and my wife. Transgenerational relevance is important in the kingdom. That the scope of our relevance must not just transcend our lifetime or the, the jurisdiction of our relevance as apportioned by God. Kingdom advance is very important, but we must be able to culture ourselves into the spiritual system apportioned by God to preserve his ordinances. Every time I study history, my heart is broken. They will tell you about cities like Spokane. They will tell you about several places. Once upon a time, Europe was the center of revival. Are we together? Fire was burning all across the length and the breadth of those territories. And now you would hardly, hardly thank God for the things that are happening. There was a time in the city of Welch. There was a revival that broke out. Men and women caught fire. Just by reading the move of God on a newspaper, people received impartations. They got born again. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Growth disappeared from people just reading about a revival. But the system of preservation was not there. So our history books are full of the moves of God. Mighty things. Dimensions that our generation has not even entered into. But then most of them, the lifespan of that extent of impact was the lifespan of the one who pioneered that move. Usually with the death or the backsliding of the pioneer, the move dies. And dies to a point that it is buried and there is no monument in that territory that testifies that God once moved. Everybody shout God forbid. God forbid. There must be ordinances preserved. That in life or in death, they will know once upon a time, God, God moved across this nation, moved across this city. And there are testaments, not just physical buildings and monuments, but a heritage, a spiritual heritage that has refused to leave.
when you travel across the west I travel across these areas a lot and I am profoundly touched at how they respect monuments that remind you of certain notable events that once happened in those regions it could be places of worship it could be physical monuments it could be lots of things I remember one time a few years ago when Kogi and Pastor Alpha was taking us around and we we're seeing some of the monuments they showed me certain places where wars happened they showed me certain historical things there must be a system of preserving not just the the heritage of being a Christian but the extent to which God moved must also be captured it is important that our children know that not only were we Christians we were men of fire it, it must is important that our children must know that once upon a time a preacher can be preaching and the power of God can touch someone miles away let me tell you something when Satan finds out that it is difficult for him to capture a generation he gives up on that generation and goes to our children and starts growing with them Satan can be patient for as long as the generation that has sponsored God's move fades away so he will be silent and sometimes we will mistake in his silence as our breakthrough in the spirit not knowing that it's an intentional deceit for many years he can be quiet until those who were at the hallmark of alignment allowing the purposes of God to be birthed either through old age or whatever exhaustion when they fade away then he grows with a generation a generation that do not know God a generation that does not know Pharaoh again a generation that does not know Joseph today there are certain buildings that were once centers of revivals they are clubs today do you know why there was no system of preserving the move of God that once upon a time this was a place of encounter it was a place where people would run to God with their challenges and roll up and down in Zaria here there have been physical locations that because of the extent of the incense that arose to heaven and the sacrifices that conveyed those times they became portals literally but many things have happened to them oh yeah Oh, 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 and one day you will watch your child in limbo and confusion. You have not taught him. What secret did you carry that made your ministry prosper? Now your son is 22 years. Are you not surprised at the children of some of those who pioneered moves? And you are wondering what happened? Where did the power go to? Gehazi, why did you not receive from Elisha? What happened? There are mantles and graces that are still on earth but are not available for use because the system of preservation and transference was not there. The West is full of great prophetic movements. Many of them died at infancy, largely due to illiteracy and a quick capture of hell. However, there is still a heritage of the eyes that can see and the ears that can hear there are still those moves are we together yes our soils and territories are full of stories you meet an old man and he tells you it was in this location one day rain was falling everywhere but you see this house you are looking at that is now a beer parlor rain did not fall there and then you ask who was there they said there was one white man we don't know his name we just know that he came from america and spent two weeks there the moment he left people started falling under the anointing on the street where then is that mantle 
what was the formula nobody was taught he left or died and you find out that in that territory the most powerful person hardly knows God guessing all around we must preserve the curriculum a portion for us to know God my generation must know the God I know not the God they want to know they must understand his power to the extent to which we allowed him move and this is what this teaching is aimed at providing us to open us up to the systems in the spirit that are responsible for proof for preserving divine ordinances so that one day these little kids playing around that little boy can hold the mic and say I remember the name my father called God when I wanted him to heal, to heal people there was a song my father raised every time the power of God was about to move whenever I saw my father close his eyes I understood the meaning if we ignore our children we are going to destroy a generation most of our parents will tell you they attended T.L. Osborne's crusade correct they attended most of this crusade they will tell you what happened some of the generals some of our parents went abroad at the times of those movements and they had the privilege to go to those cathedrals they saw raw power they saw prophecy they saw grace they saw transformation beyond the church walls and today they sit down with sicknesses ravaging them and you say daddy do you believe God he says I remember I remember 1971 I remember T.L. Osborne crusade what happened preservers of the ordinances of God are we blessed I have done my best to study revivals and to study the life of the generals and every time I study I see gaps gaps between one generation and another what did Smith Wigglesworth know that we do not know? What did Catherine Kuhlman know that we do not know? Even if they made mistake, what wrong did they do? We are not even, we, we, we only talk about the mistakes. We don't say what, if people walk at that dimension and they still slipped, will it not be wise to find out? If I were alive in the days of the generals, I would not yet be qualified to hold a mic. I would be a chief usher. With the level of spiritual development now that we brag around and make noise about, you would dare not hold a mic in those days. No. Read the Bible and see those who worked in welfare departments. The welfare department of the early apostles were the crusaders of our generation. if you were ever given an opportunity to speak to people the number of the prophetic eyes that screened you and all of them would have to unanimously pass you when you study the history of the move of God in Nigeria that was how men like Apostle Babalola were detected they were not detected by desire it took the eyes of the spirit and the supervision of a very strong apostolic council that knew God not you don't come and lie and talk nonsense with fake visions <clears throat> are we together John G Lake had those we call healing technicians the condition to be qualified to be called a healing technician was that for starters when you came they would give you a sick body and give you 30 days how many days any sick body whether one leg and the other amputated that's not the issue whatever allocation reaches you your assignment is to turn that dead body to a miracle 30 days if you could not heal that person within 30 days john lake will politely tell you we have seen you are trying but please go and join the congregation very simple spokane became the healthiest city in the world because one man but the question is not the impact the question is the transference where is it where is it 
it was said about E.W. Kenyon, great man of faith, that that man raised the dead at will. Raising the dead that we talk so much about was a normal occurrence. Are we together now? There was a time a tractor broke the legs of a farmer and pieces the bones like pieces your leg is pieces and when that happened the bible says well not the bible history says that um what's his name now Kenyon came and just looked at the legs and the bones began you know i the book of ezekiel like that the man's leg not gradual healing right there and he says stand up and go away a man a man died during the time of saint patrick for six months how many months six months when saint patrick got there he wrote his signature wrote his signature on the grave and said they should open it they brought the man alive These were men who knew the ordinances of God. There are levels of spiritual manifestations you cannot guess. The level of accuracy required to produce that outcome does not allow guessing. Are we together? One of the Catholic priests, they were building a cathedral and the wood stopped and there was no money to complete it. Go and read your history. He held the wood and, and just continued moving. And that was how it kept elongating. Today, if a little leg grows out of another, people shout around and say, how are we sure? What a shame on us. We have lost a, a, a manuscript that was freely given to a generation that made illiterate, ordinary men and women do business with God. Hallelujah. I had the opportunity to meet Prophet Kobus before I went to be with the Lord. And I remember having a conversation with him. And he was telling me what Lester Sumrall told him about what Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumrall and some of the moves of God and some of the prophecies that would come in our generation. And I was stunned. Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumrall, he said, Look, Make sure you don't die with your anointing. Find young men who are serious and transfer it to them. Preservers of the ordinances of God. Once upon a time, Apostle Babalola was thirsty and there was no water. He understood a key and he opened the heavens and water came out of a rock. Ha. Brothers and sisters, this is not the realm of trial and error. This man were custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. Are we together? Archbishop Benson Idahosa went round the world as an African. No land could resist him. I remember one time Benny Hinn was laying hands on people and he got to Archbishop Benson Idahosa and he removed his cap. When Benny Hinn touched him, he fell under the anointing and he put his cap back. He said, thank God he was an African that drew you. I remember one crusade that they were having together with Benny Hinn. And Benny Hinn was praying, trying to charge the atmosphere and rain wanted to fall. It also came and collected the mic. He said, rain is falling. Those who are sick, lay your hands there. There was no time to waste. He didn't answer whether they had faith or not. He understood a system to force their miracle. A guy's face was bent and he came to him for healing. And he said, look up. And the guy looked up. He said, God, this is your image. If this is how you look, leave this man like that. <laughs> Custodians of the ordinances. Now, some of you, it's a shame that some of us are just hearing this for the first time. Yet this is our spiritual heritage. When you start training children from primary school, you teach something called social studies. You teach them the history of their nation. You teach them the advantages of being a citizen of that nation. Why? You are preserving that sense of nationhood. We have lost that sense of spiritual nationhood. We do not understand the extent and that's why our faith is not strong. 
because we are not familiar with the dealings of God today someone is favored in one month he becomes prosperous and we shout about it we insult fathers of faith for buying just a little land have you not read about Alexander Dewey? He was not elected, but he was the spiritual mayor of Illinois. He built a city single-handedly. He was not just a prophet. He was a multi-millionaire. It was said his wealth was so mysterious. People became afraid. He built a city. Well, his opinions were had their issues here and there. But he built a city with a hospital in it. Today, it's still called Zion City in Illinois. You get there, once he was 12 on the dot, everywhere around the city you had to stop and pray. Once upon a time, Catherine Kuhlman was teaching and someone came into the meeting. Sorry, Maria Woodward Ita was teaching and someone came and was laughing at her. And the moment she was laughing at her, she said, God, judge you, her tongue swallowed up immediately to be bigger than the size of her head. After three days of prayer warriors praying, that tongue refused to go down and they advised the person to come and apologize we came before the church and apologized to her she laughed and slapped the tongue it went down in their presence are we together these people it was their life it was not show William Branham would stand for hours and watch a congregation and not say anything because he said he was waiting for his angel to come you say you are seeing angels today they say you are diabolic you collected power from somewhere this guy stood and did not do anything and then eventually all of a sudden a physical wind will start blowing in the church physically and all of a sudden you say here comes the angel and turn and start giving a level of word of knowledge and prophecy that very few people on earth will ever get there there is no mortal man on earth now i know who is working in william branham's dimension of prophetic accuracy they did not have videos to capture their meetings strange manifestations but something happened as powerful as these moves are the children had the opportunity to learn without guessing they had the opportunity to learn without trying with the little dimension of grace that god has exposed to me i've had the privilege of teaching people with a level of accuracy according to what god has given and have watched a reproduction imagine that you were mentored by smith wigglesworth imagine he told you what god taught him imagine what happened to him when he went to heaven imagine that he told you imagine that you stood side by side with him they brought somebody with a condition called an alligator skin where a skin the top skin had rot and they brought him before a. a allen a allen looked at him and laid his hands and removed the old skin like that like you remove another hand and a new hand appears and he threw it away Jaco, one of the greatest manifestors of the faith of god i watched this it's not like they told me they brought someone with cancer and he sat down on a chair he looked at the neck he held the cancer and removed it did you hear what i said not that he held it and it went down he removed it everybody see i'm holding it shame on the devil In Smith Wigglesworth book his own confession that one time a spirit appeared in his room devils appearing in his room and the room was shaking and rocking and he came out when he came out he looked at the parlor and he saw a spirit sitting and he turned back don't waste my time he went to go and sleep not pray not fast not bind sleep I thought it was an angel that brought a message but since it's you Satan enjoy the chair and go back this is not, I claim I am powerful. Uh -uh. This is a settled, this is truly the seated in heavenly places mentality. We are missing something. The little we have been able to capture is what we are bragging with. But there must be a system.
and while we trust God that the spirit of God who opened them up to those portals will open us also to those portals listen in as much as we are trusting God for those dimensions hear me we must start taking cognizance of the system of preserving spiritual heritages do you know the mystery that governs the move of God in koinonia do you know why the power of the Holy Spirit moves so lavishly it's not just because an anointed man is holding the mic there is a formula will we go with this thing and shine alone and enjoy alone and build empires alone or are we going to translate these things so that someone somewhere will enter another meeting in a city and all of a sudden just holding the mic you are just saying blessed be the name of the lord and you engage that mystery and you watch people rising from wheelchairs you are not this is not trial and error that you are moving in a dimension of power and grace and illumination preservers of spiritual ordinances let me tell you the truth don't believe everybody is trying this thing there are people who have received as a blueprint the ordinances are portioned to them as a level they know it they can operate it any day any time and it will not fail regardless of what the limitations are you must understand this these things are ordinances they are given it's like a manuscript that the spirit of god gives you you use it anywhere it will work and no devil there is a mystery that casts out devils it's not just go go no to draw from me you again again we've come to draw how it is spiritually God's design and ordination is such that he distributed his dimension to every territory there is a curriculum of God that the men and women of God in every territory must be able to bring down and supply the people in that territory otherwise there is a kind of growth that will never be experienced the reality of having spiritual platforms in every territory where the purposes of the kingdom is not only taught but brought is one of the keys I taught you I taught you last week listen carefully that kingdom advance is territorial although the mandate is global but the approach is per territory so God apportions a territory like Zaria and commits to us and the assignment is he says there is a dimension of me that I want the people who are within this soil to know and understand and then he searches for men and mandates them to align in a way and manner that allows him to reveal that your marking in the spirit 
is based on how much of that dimension was safely brought and revealed to the people you can know whether God has a system that represents his presence in the territory you can always know you don't need to find out how many churches no you don't need to find out how many men of God no it is a it is a, a spiritual way of discerning one of it is the extent of the dispensing of the mysteries of the kingdom and a system that preserves it there is a way our fathers prayed and got results many young people pray but we pray anyhow and pray the way we wanted because nobody mentored us in the art of prayer Ah, yes we were mentored to spend long hours and dissipate energy shouting but these guys had there was a mystery Elijah was up the mountain and they brought a band of 50 people and he said if I be a man of God Job was frustrated in his life Job said God I need you here and God came what formula did Job use to invoke God and God came the Bible never said God said me God appeared. Job, you called me. The wife of Job said, Cause God and die. That word is mysterious. That means there is a code you can speak on earth and die immediately. He said, Cause God and die. Not that means it's within your power. You know the formula for death. Job, you know it. Why don't you end your life? And Job said, No, I still want to live. Please understand what I'm teaching you. What was the formula? There is something that men can say from earth to heaven and their life ends immediately. That's what the wife of Job was saying. Do it. And Job said, no, 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 no. These are my contemplations. These are the things that keep me pursuing God passionately regardless of the little results here and there you must bench yourself by a high standard so that no matter what happens you are you are rated by a standard that is higher than the existing standard in your generation it's not pride it is a simple search to press into a depth of god and deliver to a generation it's not for the purpose of making a name There were mysterious secrets of wealth hidden in the Bible. The Bible is full of people who tapped into a dimension of supply that we are just trying to learn. Cities came out of recession overnight. Those ordinances are still available. When Elisha took the mantle of Elijah, he struck it in a way that the river divided. The river never divided for Elijah or Elisha. The river divided for whoever had that grace. And that includes you. If we stood before the Red Sea today, we will call architects to build bridges. Those guys say, pass that thing and let's go. <coughs> if God tells me to ask him one thing, I will say, Lord, please take me in a vision to ancient Egypt. I want to see the display of the power of God through Moses. I just want to be led like Ezekiel and watch and watch Moses in that temple and watch Pharaoh look at him and watch the, the stench of witchcraft and a man comes immune. For, Moses was not afraid for himself. He was on assignment. Kai. These people were strange men. No wonder Hebrews said the earth was not worthy of them. When you mention those we think the earth is not worthy of now, we mention Mother Teresa, Mandela. The earth is worthy of them. There are people the Bible says the earth is not worthy. In other words, they did the earth a favor by passing. They were not ordinary men. When we get to heaven, we will see the constituents of their design. They only carried bodies that were young. There had to be an ancient mystery inside them. And the Bible says on the count of that, the earth 
is not worthy of them. We shared a few things that would help us. Let me run through them and then we'll finish up. We didn't finish last week and my assignment is to finish it today and then we'll pray. That number one, the first key to advancing and preserving the move of God in a territory is a system of consistent prayer. Everybody say prayer. And not just random need-driven prayer. The ministry of warfare and intercession must never go out of fashion if we want to preserve the move of God in a territory. The ministry of intercession and warfare. Now I know that we come from different places and we all have different ideas about warfare and the rest but let me tell you one truth based on the authority of the word of God. The Bible never left us in the dark as to the fact that territories have controlling powers apportioned to them and nobody prevails over a territory until you sustain capacity to subdue the powers that control a territory. When you see people thrive in a territory, listen carefully, it is not because the power of darkness is not there. It's because they have sustained a system to keep them at bay. Are we together? Let me tell you one big secret about Koinonia. Listen to me. If you find yourself in this place, that you come and sit down with Koinonia, half of your miracle has already happened. Believe me. I know this sounds like pride. Forgive me if it sounds so. That you were able to successfully leave your house. If God opens your eyes to see the warfare that happens. Have you not seen people come and sit down. And immediately praise and worship starts. They feel like easing themselves to go. No. There are spirits walking behind the scene. Because someone's miracle is about to come. Someone's life is about to change. All of a sudden a stranger starts calling somebody. Just when prayer is about to start. No sir. They are not normal. Every service in Koinonia is warfare. That's why we never come into any service casual. We start praying from the week. The prayer department is praying. Every department is praying. I'm praying. Everyone is praying. And when we come, you see the things that the power of God does. And you are wondering, no. Satan is also watching. He is shocked at how he is resisted. Are we together? Yes, you are not going to build that house just because you think you have money. When all the economics are ready, the realm of the spirit must be taken care of. Are we together? Just because a brother sees you and he likes you and you go back carelessly thinking you are fine is a, is a joke in this wicked world that we live in. You lie down to sleep and a strange woman appears to you and say, in case they have not told you, let me tell you that I've been here for a long time. I am the one who has stopped all the 11 ladies in your family from marriage and not even you will do it. And you get up and say, well, it's just a, a, a nice dream. And you take orange juice and you find out that the day the brother said he wants to see your people, his business scattered overnight. His life scattered overnight. One ear refused to hear. And the guy says, no, I've not even married you and this is happening. And he just finds his way quietly. But those who understand that every territory must have men and women who settle realities in the realm of the spirit. You engage strong warfare and intercession. At all times, not just when you have a dream about danger. Sometimes when you have that dream, it may be too late. The Bible says to be instant in season. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always, always shakata always to pray one of the greatest assets you can teach your child is the ministry of prayer and intercession that's why I love it when our children join us when we are praying let them join they may be playing and mimicking the tongues just leave them one day you will be surprised to hear that they laid hands on their classmates in the play class the power of God does not care which hand whether the hand is the hand of a young child or an adult the moment that hand is aligned the power of God will flow through it are we together number two I taught us that the second key to preserving the ordinances of God in a territory is the regular convergence of believers 
the regular convergence of believers within that territory believers must have systems of regular convergence for the purpose of training for the purpose of building for the purpose of mentoring and for the purpose of receiving the current blueprint of the spirit he that hath an ear not everybody has that ear let him hear what the spirit saith what he's saying not what he said one of the worst things that can happen to you is to be where God was you must follow him if he moves this way that is your destiny if he moves this way that is your destiny the moment you isolate yourself from him then he's no longer a shepherd and all of a sudden things start going wrong in your life number three an open display of real miracles signs and wonders we cannot preserve the emphasis listen 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 believers hear me this has nothing to do with being called into the miracle ministry if you want men to have memories of the moves of god there must be supernatural manifestations of the power of god beyond the four walls of the church healings and miracles testimonies per second per second that remind people that God is alive are we together someone wants to laugh at God and he just sees a car that should have a ghastly motor accident and God delivered them immediately the person remembers you see him say thank God oh thank God when a when a territory forgets God then there are hardly experiences that keep him in their minds we must emphasize God through miracles, signs and wonders and keep people aware of him. When you see Coca-Cola every day, it's enshrined in your mind. You know how Coke looks like. Educated or not, the moment they say Coca-Cola, we all know it. That's how it must be. So that even an unbeliever outside, when he hears people singing, God is a miracle worker. He won't lie that he does not understand the meaning of that song. He may not be born again, but we have institutionalized the power of God in a territory. It becomes impossible for people to mock God. There may be critics, but they know the truth. Jesus walked upon the earth. He moved in such dimension of power and grace. Although the scribes criticized him in the day, Nicodemus came by night, John 3, and said, Rabbi, we know. He didn't say, I know. All of us, those critics, we know the truth. We know that thou art a man sent from God. What convinced them? For no man can do these things. Not say these things. No man can do these things. I write to you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. Not teach alone. Do and teach. We are a generation of a performance there must be a performance and the performance must be beyond falling down results results that defy science results that create arguments results that stops an unbeliever from sleeping in the night and he sees this every time God is revealed is a message that pounds in the heart of someone who does not know God it forces men to acknowledge that there is a God because they cannot explain the synergy behind that miracle when people begin to say there is no God, it is because the sons of light have refused to show them God. Are we together? Remember Paul and Silas and the episode of the jailer. The Bible says they were jailed, tied, hands and foot. And the Bible says they prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An earthquake came and rattled the entire prison. And then the Bible says that the chains broke from their hands. And the Bible says that while they were singing the praise and the worship, the jailers, all of them had them. I'm sure they were laughing, stupid people, useless prisoners. You won't sit down in one place. And while they were singing, all of a sudden there was a physical earthquake. The hands, the chains were bound. And then all of a sudden the Bible says all doors were open. And it was time for Paul and Silas to go out. And the jailer wanted to kill himself because he was tantamount to death. And he said, no, you don't have to rush. Calm down. We are here. 
that man got born again immediately one miracle will answer 1,000 questions all these useless explanations we keep giving let me tell you every critic already knows the truth explaining to them is a waste of time you answer by a superior performance of the power the grace the wisdom of God not to make a name not to build an empire but to reveal Jesus to make him manifest number four and that's where we stopped last week intentional mentorship of younger believers not young believers we are young younger believers if the ordinances of God must be preserved in a territory there must be an intentional system of mentorship that raises the younger believers and it starts right from nursery class primary school etc etc there must be a system of intentional mentorship when we have a generation of people who are ignored do you know by the time an average young man gets to 15 largely he or she their lives have been wrecked beyond repair are we together we must be able to capture people from the ages of these little children and show them God let their lingua franca be Jesus and Jesus only we mentor them gone are the days where people commit themselves to investing in children ministry and young people society has tainted people the moment you focus on children they say it's because you're a young man and in, in a bit to manage that embarrassment of not looking small or a child we have ignored them and Satan says if you ignore them and I'm, I'm available more than available there must be a mentorship of younger ministers younger ministers they must be mentored to understand but the only challenge I have with mentorship is that the mentor himself must have an encounter with God otherwise we are going to mentor our limitations to people it will be a transference of limitations there are many people is because of mentorship they stop believing God there are dimensions of God they would have believed but a mentor created a theology out of his limitation and forced them to believe it and raped their potentials for entering superior dimensions in the spirit. There were people who began to have visions, dreams, prophetic encounters until they met a so-called mentor and he told them it was diabolism and they casted it out and closed the door against the Holy Spirit. Not everybody can mentor. Being in ministry for a long time does not qualify you for mentorship. You can be doing the wrong thing in ignorance for many years. It's an election of grace. God must train people with a track record and a testimony of walking with the Holy Spirit. Number five. The fifth way that the ordinances of God, the program of God is preserved over territories is influence. 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 God must find people in high places that are in places of influence enough to supervise the policies that preserve God in a territory. Are we together? For a very long time, the church has been indoctrinated to resent influence. We have been indoctrinated into believing that every time people aspire to rise to prominent positions, to sit upon the notable places of several spheres of influence is a proof of carnality. So we create, we have created a theology that you either be carnal and influential or spiritual and private. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus was a man of influence. What is influence? The ability to mold your understanding into people without using force. The ability to compel people to buy into your beliefs. To buy into your, your paradigms. To buy into your perceptions without using force. You use results. Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 18. The verse of emphasis is verse 10. But for reference purposes, you can put verse 7 to verse 18. But let's look at just verse 10. For the sake of time, help us media, verse 10. 
Acts chapter 18 and verse 10. It says, For I am with you, and no one will attack or hurt you. What is the reason? For I have many people in this city. There are many people who call upon my name in this city. And the fact that I have several people is an advantage to my agenda. Are we together now? That when God has many people in places of influence, it was the influence of Joseph of Arimathea that brought down the body of Jesus. It was not prayer that brought Jesus from the cross. He would have died and remained there on the cross. But a man of influence, Joseph of Arimathea, who had business concerns with Herod, told him that, look, I want the body of Jesus. And on grounds of that partnership and friendship, he said, all right, no problem. He will be buried in my own tomb. Influence played a role in our salvation. We have entertained a weak and a beggarly church with no voice. Policies and policies come up from an antichrist government. Men and women who do not know God, neither do they have respect for his ordinances. They are the ones that sit in the high places and spirits manipulate them to making life difficult for the church. And we are here praying in tongues, throwing ourselves from pillar to post and rejecting influence. There are two principal ways the kingdom advances. One is evangelism, two is influence. None of them can replace another. Evangelism and influence. The gospel is a message and it's an ideology. It's not a message alone. The message of the gospel is the revelation of the love of the Father demonstrated in the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus and the response of man to that act of love and benevolence. The result of which is the life of God imparted into man. That is the message of the gospel. But there is the ideology of the gospel. A system that seeks to enthrone Christ and his value systems first in the hearts of men and then across every strata of human existence. Here's the great commission. Go ye into, not go ye around. Enter a system, cosmos, the social system, the mountains that represent the spheres of influence that govern the cultures of people. Let me have representations there. He says, do not be afraid. Why? No one will hurt you because I have many people there. When the righteous are in power, the people rejoice. He says, when the wicked perish, there are shouts of joy. When the vice chancellor of a university calls upon the name of the Lord, it's an advantage for the advancement of the kingdom within that territory. If the wealthiest man in Zaria calls upon the name of the Lord, it's an advantage to the growth of the church. I believe in influence. I never will reject influence. God has blessed me with influential people, some fathers of faith, some great people connected to this ministry directly or indirectly. Great men of influence scattered across the military, scattered across business, scattered across every mountain. I will never be indoctrinated to rejecting them because their relevance will show. When you want to ward the gates of hell, they will come physically through men. And God, there is only a limit. There are certain doors that will never open for you. You need somebody already in there who has the purposes of the kingdom. Are we together? There are many cities that refuse to sell land for believers. But certain men of influence and certain pastors that God has granted influence will come to that land and a call will come directly. Oga governor, Oga lands and survey coordinator, release 10 hectares now for this church. Their advantage can increase the economy of this land. And all they say is yes sir. May God put someone around your destiny that knows God and has influence. Influence can shorten your journey. All this prayer and fasting we pray out of unbelief is because we are using one system of the kingdom to remedy another. Influence can answer a lot of prayers. Are we together? 
influence can answer a lot of prayers a lot of prayers God's people must find their way to the high places of life to represent his interest in the places that matter in the places that matter imagine if Michael Jackson ever said Jesus he would win more souls than many crusades combined whether the Jesus was a mistake or it was intentionally so are we together I shared with us last week that Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe they have never packed a stadium for a crusade they are using one weapon that we have ignored influence 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 we live in a world that is governed by influence brothers and sisters we need it whoever has influence sets the rules and forces you to work with the rules I made up my mind that I will never pastor a spiritual and a weak people spirituality and influence can go hand in hand and that's the template I've chosen so I'll continue to pray for you and teach you that you rise and become great people in ministry here at the level that God has brought us there is hardly anything we want at this level that we cannot get because of the power of influence almost everything we will need at this level is a call away a call away a call away if it's military might a call away are we together if it's some kind of legal stance it's a call away the power of influence if anybody comes and tries to bully the ministry and oppress the lives of people God has strategically placed people in areas of influence to do that influence is important you reject it you will pay for it are we together you reject it you will pay for it we need influence every time we need influence everywhere if there is an emergency case right now and we need attention in the hospital by the grace of God he has given us influence to call some of the highest people that God can grant grace and make sure that we mobilize assistance for people you see believers are not taught how to live in a socio-economic environment we are taught how to live in church but we are not taught the wisdom for living and it is the lack of this understanding that destroys us a day will come you will need help and ministry the work of God will suffer greatly without it it will require influence every week you see people here you know and, and, and so on and so forth have people the bosses that come from oh, almost if not 100% of all the drivers they are not Christians but by 9 o'clock they come and wait here all of them and they are watching the meeting it's called influence are we together don't reject influence it is when influence is mismanaged that it can destroy people there are people here by the grace of God and with all humility they have gotten jobs overnight because of influence oh how are you sir there are students who had no business graduating but influence took them and they just left because you know somebody that can favor and help them hello sir please can you help a b c d there are people who have gotten admission because of influence there are people who have gotten promotion because of influence the church has become grounded because we have hated and rejected influence and we keep praying the answer leaves the realm of the spirit but the system that makes it manifest influence being one of them is largely ignored we must receive grace for influence hallelujah there are people who have been at the police station and the situations around their lives would have been grievous but because of the power of influence one call officer inspector i'm the one calling a b c d e f g and it's, it's over unbelievers understand this you can catch a criminal a capon take him to prison in two hours one call makes one call makes one call abroad returns one call back to nigeria and the person is out walking on the street and then a sincere believer who loves god but is ignorant of the systems of god is kept and locked 
God must give us influence in the name of Jesus Christ God has helped us as a ministry I tell you the truth and I say it without humility God has given us influence and we have we have honored our way into those influence are we together it matters you have influence to the degree to which men rise to remedy any challenges that stand before you it will happen in ministry I remember there was I think a, a few months or so ago or weeks there was someone that wanted to just make some trouble because of the overflow and all of that and before all those troubles will rise people arose from everywhere and said no way no way you are you are a joker we have been blessed beyond imagination that's the power of influence I never had to go there to find out what happened influence many of you may never know but there's a gentleman now serving five years five months or so in the prison during one of the night vigils he wanted to steal a car somewhere there but because we had influence and access to military might they were caught and apprehended and handled and I didn't even know it was the next day while we we're on our way to the trip the protocol department told me oh they got intelligence let me tell you something if there is a crisis God forbid in Zaria within one hour we have built a system of immunity we are not stupid people with in less than five minutes whatever needs to be communicated to every koinonia member will reach the person and the relevant structures for military might and influence will be put we are not stupid people we are living in a we will the horse is prepared for battle safety is of the lord but the horse will not sleep you are living in a wicked world don't assume you are not living in one are we together when the devil uses men to rise against you do you have enough influence or are you connected to people of influence that can come and speak the purposes of God hallelujah we must never reject influence brothers and sisters please take what I'm telling you seriously there are churches today who have refused to get land because of influence there are churches today who have never gotten certain opportunities because they have ignored influence they rejected it they resented it and it left them completely influence we go to the bank and by the privilege of God's influence many things that should not be done ordinarily are done to us because of influence if you reject influence you will never never experience certain dimensions of God influence is not just Christians influence is God lifting you to a platform where you can get the loyalty of men you can get the whatever it is that they represent hallelujah the school of ministry students will soon be graduating and while we were trying to uh, prepare for their graduation and so on and so forth they were talking one time about their uniforms what they would wear and one one of the students of the school of ministry is here he just got up and said look i can get you graduation gowns the only reason why they are not using it is simply because there are more students than the gowns can take but influence that's something somebody can be praying for three days and say lord wouldn't you raise somebody no many of the need driven prayers are products of lack of spiritual intelligence influence can answer many prayers do not be afraid I have many people many people many people could it be that our parents have rejected influence to their detriment could it be that several people across have rejected influence to their detriment influence is powerful powerful I remember when Boko Haram struck Mubi many of them may be listening from here now and all of that destabilized the church the entire church in Mubi everything scattered men of God had to go people were killed and all of that and God granted us the access 
through the power of influence to be part of those that God is using to bring the church within that territory back next month and back there again. What a privilege to strengthen the believers and call everybody back again and say the purposes of God must thrive on this land. That's the power of influence. Are we together? I believe in influence. I am friends to politicians. Talk whatever rubbish. They are Christians. Many of them have gotten born again. Many of them know God and they have the purposes of God. I advise some of them. I pray for them. I'm not looking for their money. God has been faithful. We ignore these people in the name of spirituality and when there is need for help, nothing happens. I remember, I think it was in Niger State, one of the year, I, I, I don't know, before the, the last election or so. The Khan people wanted me to go and talk. They usually have men of God that go and talk with the government, you know, and talk with them. And the last time they took one young guy, the guy went there and did a lot of very naughty things. You understand what I'm saying? People misuse because they don't understand the protocol of greatness. I've had the privilege to advise people high and mighty. They love me. There are things that influence have brought to my life, have brought to this ministry. There is no good thing that comes into this land that we are not aware of. There are systems of influence that grant us access to the choices of everything. Please believe in the power of influence. Otherwise, you are going to pay for it in, in unbelievable ways. I've shared with you a humorous story about a young guy in NDA and the Emir of Zaria where the guy wanted to get admission and he failed the test. Among other reasons, they said there was a height requirement to join the NDA and they said he fell short by a few inches. Sorry, we cannot take you. And the guy got angry and came. One person connected to the other and the news got to the Emir. And the Emir said that they should go and tell the commandant of NDA that the Emir has added the height of that man. Everybody say influence. Do you think they took him? Yes. The person may probably have finished now. The worthy soldier. Influence. His destiny would have been jeopardized. He would have been a farmer somewhere loitering in, in, in all kinds of pain and, and doing it. it, it just a little farming the back of his house in pain. But influence brought him back to destiny. Don't reject influence. Don't reject influence. I will never reject influence. If God grants me access to great people, I will talk to them. Most of us know Billy Graham to be an evangelist. A dimension of him that is hardly known was that he was an influential man. He was a mentor to several presidents of America. It was not luck. He literally pressed for it. He said how many times Billy Graham would write letters to the presidents and they would turn him down. They would throw away the letters. But he continued because he believed that he was destined, among other things, to be an advisor to presidents. From today, and um, not even from today, it's, it's been like that for many years, I, I believe. Every president goes to pay homage to him, regardless of what their spiritual orientation is about God. It's the power of influence. Will cause men to do things for God that they had no business doing because of influence. In the name of Jesus Christ. When you go to Dubai, you go to China. They have never been under pressure to learn English because of influence. They speak whatever language influence translates it to those who are the benefactors of whatever they represent. Chinese people have never seen. I remember one keyboard years ago that my father bought from wherever. I don't know where he got that keyboard, brought it excitedly at home and said, look, there's a, a very classic keyboard and I looked at it and it was a toy full of Chinese. I looked at everything and I said, how in the world are we supposed to, I mean, there is no, even on, you know, like English slash China, it was pure. I'm sure it's one of those things that were just shipped into the country. I remember the frustration many times when I'm trying to look for the right voice because I can't speak it. That's the power of influence. They have not seen a need to downgrade their systems to English because they have value that the world must subscribe to. Lord, make me a man of influence. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. I covet it. The Bible says to covet earnestly. I desire it. Not for self-aggrandizement, not for the carnality of it, for the sake of your kingdom. 
your purposes must be represented not in just in a land it must be represented among great people lift your voice and pray in one minute Lord grant us influence as a house we receive the grace we receive the mantle we know the value of influence as far as kingdom advance is concerned and we receive it with all our hearts unashamedly and unapologetically we receive kingdom influence in business in finances in ministry in government we receive it point I'll talk about tonight and then we'll pray the sixth way that the precepts the ordinances of God are preserved in a territory is through an open display of love an open display of the love of God love that is without prejudice love that is without tribalism love that is outside of religion any sect, any movement, any church, any program that does not communicate the love of God to the community and the territory with which it is represented does not have a future. Regardless of the prayer fire, regardless of the mentorship, listen carefully, regardless of the quality of the word the spirit of revelation that is prevalent within that territory if there is no love everybody say love. love not just love for the brethren the bible says to to love all men be good to them especially they that are of the household of faith i have watched the resentment that men of god the resentment that churches and ministries who are benefiting from a territory have towards that territory one of the requirements for being blessed and endorsed by a territory is that there must be a perception from that territory that these people love us and they seek our good are we together demonstrated in many ways but ultimately it must become a culture and a conviction I've seen many moves of God even in, in, in recent time across several territories where they have later fought the man of God. They fought the man of God, fought the church, fought everything. You know why? The community does not have a perception of the love. Not just love towards God, love towards men. I watch your life and I see the way you treat non-Christians. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who are not your tribe. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who did not have the privilege to go to school. I watch your life and I see that although you are a prayer giant, your resentment and sarcasm towards the territory God has planted you. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. First, he didn't just send a son to come and get out of the territory. It was love that brought him. If we want to see the purposes of God established and preserved, even through this ministry, we must love our environment. Are we together? We must love the body of Christ within this environment. I've, I've taught us that there may be one, listen to that message, is powerful. There are four encounters I've taught us here that you must have in your life to be efficient. Number one is an encounter with the Lord Jesus. The benefit of that encounter is life eternal. So wait. Number two, an encounter with the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The benefit of that encounter is leadership, guidance. The third encounter you must have is an encounter with the word of God. The mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. 
Are we together? The benefit you get from that encounter is capacity for legislature. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries and the systems of the kingdom. But the last encounter that very few people have understood is an encounter with the body of Christ. An encounter with the body of Christ. Not just God, but the body of Christ. If you have not had an encounter with the body of Christ, you remain lopsided. I trust God for when I will begin to write books. I have a book that I'm going to write. The title is Balance. It's a reorientation of the bride of Christ. The book is about the bride of Christ. The wife of the Lamb. And the dishonor that has been communicated to her. The scriptural text is jealousy is the rage of a man. I'm giving you a preview to the book. Jealousy is the rage. When you touch a responsible man's wife and claim you love the man, are you not a hypocrite? Yes, are we together? Pastor Alpha, can someone insult your wife and then bow to you? That's a hypocrite. So when you hate his bride and claim you love him, something is missing somewhere. A wounded bride is still a bride. An imperfect bride is still a bride. We must have an encounter with the body of Christ. I was sharing with a dear friend. He's seated here. We're having a little discussion in the afternoon. And I was just talking to him about the body of Christ. Let me tell you something. One of the greatest keys to be granted unusual anointings. Please listen to me. Greater than your prayer life. Greater than fasting. Is your love for God and your love for his body you will never be given the power to heal the sick if you hate the people you are going to heal are we together every spiritual gift works by love every manifestation of the power of God works by love if I hate a Jimmy right now and God gives me prophecy for a Jimmy the purity with which that prophecy left the throne is not the purity with which it will be delivered. That, that prophecy will rub off on my hatred. And chances are that I will add to that prophecy what God did not say. Which was a derivative of my personal vendetta with him. Are we together now? Love. Most of us trivialize love. We love power. If I tell everybody, shout power, you stand up with two hands and say, power, oh God. Shout miracles, miracles. Shout gifts, gifts. Shout love, and we say the ladies can't shout it. That's the reason why many people never walk in the high places of the spirit. The Bible says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it come into the hearts, the comprehension of any man, that which God has in store for they that love him. Are we together? He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Not how you pray, not the wheelchairs you lift up. When you have love one for another. The Bible says, how can you claim you love God that you have not seen when you hate your brother? Listen, having a different perspective is not a reason for hatred. There are many people that walk... The extended workforce of the ministry includes several people. There are people watching from the projector stand outside. Some of the drivers will soon come. They are Muslims. I love them. I greet them all the time. When they give birth, our protocol department goes to greet them. We invite them for dinner. The Muslims know that I love them. I have neighbors who are Muslims. Whenever they are celebrating any occasion, I try to greet them. Sometimes we sit and see brotherly kindness. I remember when Koinonia used to do counseling sessions before we stopped. Ask those who come. You see throngs of Muslim families come together with everything. Not in hiding. They come openly. Muslims recommend people and say, look, go to that man of God. And they come. Oh, I am Hajiadis. I am Alajidis. And I say, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. Not what are you doing here? <laughs> the world is not for Christians. The world is for anybody God allows to arrive here. Whoever. <laughs> whoever arrives here. Whoever arrives here. Deserves to be shown love. 
there are families some of your families have a mixture of Christians and Muslims look at the fight that happens there the prayer warrior slash priest is the greatest troublemaker in that family because he disagrees with everything everything I remember when I was in primary school they do Muslim prayers Christian prayers and after they do it everybody hugs themselves we truly speaking growing up I did not know any difference between Muslims and Christians we celebrated Christmas together when it was time for Salah we look forward to Rams arriving and all of that I mean people were just happy you see people but the resentment especially of the church are we together there are three people that come around how are you I'm, I'm, what's your name I'm James how are you your name is Femi how are you my name is Abdullahi uh, you stand here and we try to be able to say look we are the church no sir you are the light of the world 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 a city set on a hill as far as we are represented in this land everybody will be blessed from it we will pray for everybody we will strive to get as many to the saving knowledge of Jesus but regardless I there are people I pray for I pray for them with all my heart some of them come and they bring their chance I'm sorry sir you know the way my practice I tell them I said no problem but this is the way it is um, you know when you want to see this this charms do not help not hey! you are bringing champ my Jesus where are you show up all these kinds of things that we do no sir we are not going to bless the world that way are we together some of us have neighbors six o'clock you are shouting you open the door and just move hey sister femi come brother this come and we're on our way going and all the muslim people good morning sir and they are watching let me tell you listen to me we will never preserve the ordinances of the kingdom that way but when there is love you hear that someone is sick uh -uh. I mean, now you are sick. What is wrong? Is your mother around? No, she's not around. Let's go to the hospital. Ah, and the lady is watching you. You go to the hospital. You've paid the bills. Please. I mean, now is also my daughter. And the Hajia comes and says, ah, ah, I thought you were supposed to go to church. And say, the reason why I would have gone to church is what I am doing now. I'm not a hypocrite. I will not go to church and let somebody die. The very training I would receive in the church was to take care of such a person. And I'm here seated. Yes, the woman goes back. I love families where you see people regardless of religion, regardless of this, they love themselves. There is this resentment. And we pastors are the architects of programming members to hate any other person who is not them. The worst part of it is that it has even entered the church. It's no longer Christians versus non-Christians. Denomination. Every time you see somebody that dresses this way, you are not told to hate directly. It's through a series of messages that draw a straight line. Hate this person. If you see any lady who behaves this way, hate this person. If you see any brother that behaves this way, hate this person. If you see any young man of God preaching, hate this person. If you see any ministry where the power of God manifests, hate them. If you see any ministry where the man of God cannot even pray in tongues, hate him. We all combine that war and think we are being spiritual. And God is watching us. God is not a Christian. No? I hope you are aware. God is not a Christian. God is the God of all flesh. God is not a Christian. When the, when, the, when the angel appeared to Joshua, he said, are you for us or against us? He said, you are joking. I'm not for anybody. I'm standing on God's side. Whoever I find there is the one for me. You are not there. You, are, you go away immediately. The last supper that we talk about in heaven, good news is one big table and everybody who arrives there must sit there. You, you are not given the privilege of choosing your neighbor. We are there. One big family. The Bible already told us. Listen. One of the biggest secrets of the grace of God upon my life. Is that I never resent any man of God. I never resent any church. You will never hear me open my mouth. To talk against any man of God. No. 
if I mention names, it is for commendation and for blessings. Now, I have my reservations. I have my convictions. But it is not enough reason. You see me greet and love people anywhere. I have friends and great people that we vary sharply in beliefs. But I love them with all my heart. Are we together? Who taught you to love only those who agree with you? Doctrinally, religiously. Some of us innocently, our mothers have indoctrinated us. Hate this one. In this neighborhood, everybody is a witch except us. Someone prepares a nice meal and they bring it and say, if I, if, I, if I see you touch that rice, the slap I will give you. And the neighbors are watching. Bring those people for deliverance and see who manifests. You'll be surprised that the only thing the unbeliever needs is salvation. But the so-called jumping noisemaker, before they even arrive and sit, they're already shaking and shouting and flying up and down. Let's be careful. The greatest enemies of Jesus were not prostitutes. They were not children. He loved them. When he saw a woman who was caught in adultery, um, he said, woman, where are than accusers? He said, neither do I accuse you. That's Jesus for you. He met a woman by the well. And the woman was afraid as usual because everyone had treated her that way. Jesus said, you have five husbands. The one that is with you is not even your husband. I thought Jesus said, you said, Abba, one husband, two husbands. Because that's what Joshua Selma would have done. Madam, what, what is wrong with you? You have not listened to my message, Essentials for a Glorious Relationship. Thank God Jesus is not me. I'm the one who strives to become him. Are we together? But here's a loving, loving I remember one time I was counseling someone, I think he had three wives. And then he was telling me, he said, well, the other wife, the third wife is my daughter. And I was shocked. He just passed the statement and there is a comeback. The what? Ah, oh God, you are mentioning this thing. And, you are, and, and the Holy Spirit convicted me. You see, when something has happened, it has happened. God manages that system to bear his will. There are no longer regrets. Doesn't mean you should do it. Hey, say, say, say. Doesn't mean you should do it. Don't go and marry anyhow. But I'm saying, when you meet people and something has already happened, if a lady has already gotten pregnant and she's giving birth to the child, you won't carry the child and put him back to her. The child has arrived. The most important thing is let's get God into that life. Yeah. That's how we salvage the situation. Yes, Listen, by the grace of God, one of my life's goal is to be the arm for wounded people to find shelter. And I say amen to that. Amen. Are we together? that when someone is wounded I will not just be an anointed man of God but a shoulder that you can lean on that when other people are moving and shouting and running their mouth like we do in the body of Christ that it is you will be the shoulder for people to lean on oh I used to pray before but something happened to my life hey something happened what happened pride I be but you are you are the arm he says it's all right there is a system in the kingdom where mighty men can arise again. Love. Is God speaking to us? There is nobody who wants to be a member of such kind of a church. Nobody will not want to be a, a leader of such kind of a, of a pastor. Look at what this guy is doing. <laughs> can you imagine? I'm busy preaching and using him for example and he's there. Well, I love him too. God bless you, Sam. I love you so much. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. The workers in this ministry know that I love them. I love the leaders outspokenly. How many of you see Benga when he shines? Come Benga. When he shines, when he shines, when he shines, he said he didn't do it today, but I mean, he bought the clipper by himself and trust me, he does a good job. Better than, I mean, he shines that thing and brings it for me to impart upon it. It's called love. When you see people, anointing and love can go hand in hand. You don't have to drag your face as if you are the person. Who, no, 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 no. I love people. God bless you, baby. You see me and the Jimmy, you, you see me and the little children. I'm sure it's only because protocol has stopped them now. 
Otherwise, these children can run while I'm preaching now. They don't care. To them, your Joshua Selman is apostle to you. That, that he's the person who plays with me when I'm ready for play. After service, they run. They don't care whether I ate or not, whether I'm broken fast or not. They just jump and expect me to hold them. It's called love. There is a side of God we have failed to reveal because we have thought that revealing it is weakness. I love Muslims. You will never see tribalism in this ministry. Never. Never. The workers have been taught. They've been taught. Oh, you are Igbo. You are Yoruba. Mm -mm -mm. No, no man after the flesh. I love my people. Don't get me wrong. There are my people listening to me from just. I love all of you with all my heart. But trust me. Trust me. I love the body of Christ. I have gone to every region in this nation. They have received me with joy and honor without prejudice without sentiment i humorously used to talk with my people and i tell them i say we have many houses in this nation and then we keep listing all the houses the frequent places that we visit i'll be going to mubi now um next month and whenever i reach there do you know how they greet me daddy or yo yo that's how they dance because that's home and it's home i love them with all my heart I told them the next time I come here, I'll look for land and buy because I think I qualify to be uh, whatever it is, the, 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 the local, the son of the soil of that place. How about Kogi? The, the, the amount of food I've eaten in Kogi qualifies me to be given something, maybe a chief taxi title. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love the body of Christ with all my heart. No resentment, no prejudice. I see a man of God, before I even know who you are and what you believe, you receive a big hug from me. How are you? You are hungry, sir. This is something to eat. Before I start finding out whether you believe whatever. You say, I believe in Jesus. I also believe in culture. I still love you, but would you want to look at it this way? Not, hey! I want, uh, blessed is the man who does not stand in the council of the weekend. I love people. There are Muslims seated here in this congregation, inside and outside, listening to me. And after service, they come and greet. I love them. That's how many of them have become born again. But whether or not they become born again, hating them. I love everybody. My neighbors, they are little children. When I see them, I, they just jump and come and hug me and I lift all of them. I don't care whether you are a Christian or this, you are a herbalist, whether there's a chap for you, that's not the issue. That's why God allowed me immune myself. I lift them and I'm happy and bless them. Change your outlook about the world. My world is a beautiful world. My world is not a world in crisis. Having enemies, church versus, uh -uh. No, my world is a beautiful world. I love people. I don't resent people. I don't pride myself at the pain of people. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace. Lord, make us instruments. files from different prayer groups in Zaria different ministries in Zaria man of God pray for us I'm praying with all my heart man of God we have a little program we need 10 naira okay I can help you with 2 naira I don't care whether you are with me I don't it's not my business the most important thing is I love you you love Jesus you are my friend you truly are my friend what a beautiful way to live this ugly resentful way the whole world will not become koinonia Stop dreaming about it. Kingdom advancement is not establishing koinonia everywhere. 
kingdom advancement is koinonia establishing Christ everywhere are we together yes the mandate is extended by many of you here and many ministries that will come out of here that's true kingdom advance not an advancement of one person's agenda and ideology but an advancement of his kingdom and it's a privilege to contribute the quota that your ministry or whatever platform can bring in kingdom advance i love the body i honor the husband and i honor his wife I honor the husband, Christ. I honor his wife, the ecclesia. I honor the bride of Christ. I will never resent the bride of Christ. Though wounded, she still deserves my honor. Though in ignorance in many areas, she still deserves my honor. Are we together? I meet a man of God somewhere. I greet him whether I know you or not. Oh, you're a pastor. God bless you. Where? What are you doing? Oh, I'm a pastor with this and that and that and that. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. How are you? Oh, I'm a pastor with deeper life. Ah, how is our father, Papa Kumui? Oh, you know Papa Kumui. I love him with all my heart. Oh, I'm a member of MFM. Really? How is our father, Daniel Lukoya? Ah, he's this. I mean, you love him. Really? Are you a member of MFM? No, not exactly, but these are fathers. They bless us. A child receives from anywhere his father is. That's the body of Christ. Are we together? How are you? Oh, you are a winner. Yes, God bless you. Oh, I was blessed by Papa Oyedepo's message. I was so blessed. Are we together? Every, it doesn't matter what fellowship I can preach there. It doesn't matter what ministry I can preach. I remember when the Anglican communion invited me. They forgot that I was a seminarian. Ah. I saw, I think it was the vicar, he was so happy when I was reciting the Apostles' Creed and I was talking and you know, ah, he was so impressed. And after the meeting, they loved me with all his heart and I greeted him, appreciated him. I love people with all my heart. You don't pray in tongues, no problem, I love you. You are limited by your understanding. I pray that you improve, but no problem, I love you. Are we together? That's what Jesus taught us. Now listen to me. I was sharing a game with my friend this afternoon. Correcting the body of Christ is an office. Not everybody has the authorization to correct the body. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Correcting the body is an office. The same way if, come, Emeka is writing his last exam in a few weeks and you'll be a full doctor. Uh, it's already a, it's just to, for them to all of them see our, our doctor people there. I mean, we have so many doctors, children sick while prayer is going, injection is coming here, attacking from every angle. I tell you, divine health is going to be here for a very long time. It has come here to stay. Praise God. Now, watch this. If I am sick. Will I allow any roadside, these guys that sell pharmacies on, they sell drugs on, on one box on their head that they can mix everything. Will I allow that person to treat me? I go to an authorized person. What authorized him? There is an association. When he writes his final exam, he's going to be officially authorized to practice medicine. Is that true? Yes. Correcting, do you think God will create a body? And not allocate the doctors that take care of it are we together the same way you have lecturers that teach the mind of that body you have doctors coming to correct the body is an office one of the first requirements to be qualified to collect to correct the body is that you must love the body without reservation the whole body must be loved without reservation to end the right to correct her Help that person under the anointing. The moment, listen, 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 let me have your attention here. The moment you do not love the body, you cannot effectively correct the body. If this guy is a pastor, come Mike, and Mike is a pastor, XYZ Ministries International, ABC Ministries International, and I come, I'm a pastor. I don't like what Mike is doing. I already have a bias 
I can never correct it in truth. Are we together? But I can stand here loving the body. And when I say, Mike, I think um, you are supposed to put your hand this way, not this way. I do it in love. Are we together? The context of my communication shows that I love Mike genuinely. And I seek with all my heart to see him rise. Hallelujah. I rebuke many of you here. Sometimes I come to preach and the series can be fire. You know, there are series that I hammer. As soon as they finish preaching, your body is just shaking and you can't wait for the grace so that you quietly go. No matter how hard I am on you, you discern my heart and know that there's love. There are men of God, you shout at members like that. Next Sunday, you have empty pews. But when they know that you love them, I rebuke people. I rebuke the workers. I rebuke worship team. Worship team. I love you people with all my heart. But there are times that they deserve rebuke. And what does a good leader do? You rebuke them to the gravity that will create the effect. But they know I love them. I rebuke all kinds of people. Protocol everywhere. So you don't come and just begin to lambast the body of Christ tear down every ministry tear down every man of God carry the baby and the bad water and the bad water mix everything together and throw them no if my leg is wounded don't insult my head my head is still good appreciate the fact that I bab well it's just that there's wound on my leg and then bring bandage and treat it don't keep pointing and say ah you mean this big injury is on your leg how can such a good head have bad leg you are not solving the problem bring a bandage I wrote a song years ago the bandage is larger than the wound powerful song one day I will, I will play this keyboard by myself and sing it are we together now bandage the wound and say father thank you for the privilege your head is good but this is where the problem is and I come as a member of the body too and I remedy you and two weeks later the wound is healed and he's standing the church is stronger the body is stronger Christ is exalted it's only in the church that we destroy our wounded soldiers a man of God serves a ministry for many years and an issue comes around his life and the people he has served for many years turn against him as if he became a devil in one month no sir no sir I manage a lot of cases between men of God and sometimes I see the bleeding that comes from them. They serve people with all their hearts. And maybe sometimes something happened around their life that, you know, destroyed their ministry or whatever it is. And you see the resentment. My prayer for you is that you become the arm that can wipe the tears of people. That every time people are crying, they say, I know that Pastor Alpha is a prayer warrior. He's a revelation giant, but he's also a loving hand. What a good testimony. Jesus said, let the little children come. The children were running to Jesus. And all of a sudden, guy, guy, leave me alone. He, he's, he's, he has finished fasting, allow him. And Jesus said, yeah, who taught you this? Let the little children come to me and do not despise them. For for such is the kingdom. I have come to seek and save the lost. I've come as a man of God when I when I travel and go to regions many times pastors come from other cities to come you know just in honor of the meeting and I look at their faces I see some already intimidated I see some standing and I am very quick to honor all of them I come to them and I say men of God I love you I honor you I have not come to outshine you I know you have listened to my messages don't be intimidated I am here to lift up your hand I am here you are already doing something great i don't go to a city and destroy what the people are doing there i go to a city and i tell them look you are doing something great and i'm here to lift up your hands so that jesus will be seen you don't come and open a shop near another believer and as soon as you open a shop near that believer you just sit down go and bring oil go and bring water go and bring this and pour it and say you will see you will know that the god of my of apostle joshua Sam, and you know there's fire in this coin on you wait and see your shop and then the person's shop is going down and you're laughing say see i told you this anointing works in this ministry you are an immature believer 
an accident happens 10 members 8 die and the only 2 members that survive are the members of your church and then they come and say everybody died except us remember that prophecy that Papa gave us and, and, the, and, 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 and an immature man of God is happy the death of 8 believers is a setback to kingdom advance we must have a corporate heart are we together now I was asking I was asking him uh, about the, the flood in Benway State and what is going on because my heart I've just been thinking about the people there and I was telling him I said look Benway has tried for years to bring me by God's grace I would I should try to visit that land next year and we're just talking and those of you listening from Benway I love you uh, it's not my my intention not to have come and trust me next year in the name of Jesus Christ next year Benway should be part of the itinerary. Let's, let's go there and contribute to the great things that they are doing there. Whenever you approach ministry as a contribution, in addition to what God is already doing, you become loved, you become valued, and every man of God within that territory loves you. But when you go to a territory and push everybody away, as though you are doing nonsense, you are not even praying in tongues, and you are a pastor, you are not even this and that. You are not collecting offering in your church. Eh? You are not. You approach the pulpit with a heart of love. You bless people. Seated in this place are mighty men and women of God. They come quietly to sit down while the meeting is happening. After service, there are many people who have traveled from many regions. I don't stand Joshua Selman. This is him. In case you have heard about him, this is Apostle Joshua Selman. Yes, bring your demons, bring your sickness. No, 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 no. It's a privilege of his grace. I will never take for granted. I'm nothing without you. It's grace. Your grace shines on me. It's your grace. Your grace. pastors of fellowships and groups learn it never make your fellowship a place that divides the body are we together call to order people whose lives have a track record of the no 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 especially some of us who are younger coming up in ministry we have hardly seen anything and we are already sustaining this bossy attitude no sir no sir I've shared about my love and honor for CGC. The, the leadership of CGC, I say it in the open. The CGC represents the most humble set of ministers I have seen in all my life till date. Truly speaking, truly speaking. I have never, never seen men of God so anointed together with their wives. The mama of CGC is such a humble woman. Mommy will see me like this and left for her. A woman that is old enough to be my mother how many times? Mommy will want to kneel down. I know what some of you will do. You will stand and say, well, mommy, I, I, let me tell you how it is. You won't look for it, but if it comes, you will enjoy it. You are still a criminal. It's, listen, it's like buying alcohol or you are given. A drunkard is one who drinks alcohol, not ones who drink by buying with his money. Whether you are giving as a gift, it is the act of drinking alcohol that makes you a drunkard. A wise person. Just because they acknowledge you and they come, ah, apostle, sir, and the woman, eh, my mother, wanting to kneel down for me, and then I stupidly stand there and I, no, I will join her and kneel down. She kneels down, I will lie down and roll. I say, mommy, let's, let's roll on the floor there. Some of us are already receiving that. You, your appetite for outshining is almost a cancer. You don't search for it for yourself. But when it comes, you don't mind. Where is the apostle? Where is he? That guy? That's it? Yes, apostle. 
Joshua Selman. And in case you doubt that I'm anointed, give me five minutes. Let me handle the mic. That's not a person that will last. If it means God taking the ministry from me to retain the humility he has given me, it's a worthy bargain. I will give up koinonia a thousand times to maintain my work with God and to maintain the life. Humility has blessed me more than financial intelligence. It has given me access to the hearts of people. There is nothing as beautiful as someone highly anointed and truly humble. Not fake humility that is, is just, no, 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 no. Humility that is based on revelation. I love the body of Christ. I love the church of the Lord Jesus in Zaria. Every time I pass around and I see different prayer groups, prayer cells, different people, I see a lot of, you know, our some of them are brethren here some of them have crusades in different lands we just i think there was a crusade conducted recently in gombe you know i am excited seeing the people that god has granted grace to raise doing a lot of things i'm not pushing them and say who oh, no it should be only me only me no only you is this is that one is is just culture we bring our cultural limitations mix it with the anointing and make it look like it's the holy spirit that is responsible for all that outcome no sir let's separate between the limitations that came from our personal sense of poor esteem i love it when i see god lift people i love it when i see god use people during the school of ministry i was at the, their practicum i was seated outside and i was almost shedding tears I was watching as great men and women powerful people dispensing truths i sat down the reason why i left this place and i sat down outside was i didn't want them to be conscious of the fact that i'm there and then be conscious of not i i wanted them to just have their way and minister and what a powerful meeting it was for me it's a pride for many men of god is an intimidation no 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 let's let's clamp these people down very soon before they outshine <laughs> No. Honor is a mantle. If it's on you, it's on you. Shines on me, shines on me. I'm everything with you. Shines on me, shines on me. It's your grace. Shines on me. sent me a text a few weeks ago i think arm robbers entered and i think it's a small church somewhere i don't know if it's in abuja or nasarawa state and he sent me a text he said man of god i don't know you but arm robbers just entered they stole some of their gadgets you know i'm sure maybe the church was not secured and all of that i didn't have to ask who are you what what church do you belong to what do you believe do you listen to my message or not that's that was none of my business sir really Ah, I called him. How are you, sir? Let me pray for you. I hope they didn't hurt anybody. Where is the church? I pray for you with all my heart in the name of Jesus. Please send me your account number. Whatever little I can send. If it cannot be enough to buy a speaker, at least you can buy a recharge card and make calls. Cheer up. Don't worry. Father, strengthen this brother in the faith. The devil has come to discourage him. But my brother, I encourage you. Stand strong. Oh, apostle, you have been a mentor to me. That's not the issue. I'm praying for you now. The loss of one is the loss of the body. The gain of one is the gain of the body. Lift your voice as you are seated and cry for the grace, a baptism of love for the body. I'm not doubting your love for God, but your love for the body. I show you why you are not seeing miracles in your life. I show you why there are certain levels of investments that you may not see. I show you why God may not be able to trust you with blessings for the body. Lord, I love your body. Ah, I love your body. I love every church. I love every denomination. I love every man of God. There may be difference in belief systems. There may be difference in values. Our levels of alignment may differ. Our levels of spiritual results may differ. 
but I love what you are doing in Nigeria. The church in Nigeria is not dead. The church in Nigeria is not weak. She can't be better, but Christ is in the midst of her church. The perfecter of the bride. 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 Inside, outside, make sure you are praying. The perfecter of the bride. Hallelujah. We are still going to stand up, but I'm going to give you one more prayer point. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, the spirit of sarcasm and resentment, take it out of me. I didn't even know when it entered me. I laugh at men of God. I laugh at business people. I laugh at other tribes. Anyone who is not Yoruba, I laugh at them and resent them. Anyone who is not evil, I laugh at them and resent them. Anyone who is not a northerner, anyone who is not a Christian, any Muslim I see, I hate it. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus taught us to love. Jesus taught us to love. It's one way we allow the purposes of God to be preserved. That the church within a territory is known for love, not hate. Not hate. Hallelujah. Listen, we are going to pray. Brothers and sisters, look at me. If it is authentic power you want, if it is grace and anointing you want, more than fasting and more than prayer, you must love his body. You cannot love a husband and hate his wife. You are a hypocrite. I cannot love a Jimmy and hate hope. I cannot love Pastor Alpha and hate Annie. It doesn't work that way. When you love a man, you love his wife. If you love Christ, the head of the church, then you must love his bride. Yes, still getting perfected. Yes, with many mistakes in the midst of her. Yes, with many scandals in the midst of her. Yes, with many people blindly refusing dimensions of God. But you must love people. I love every man of God. I love every pastor. I love every leader in Zaria across this nation. I love them. I watch television and I see different preachers across different channels manifesting what they know and understand by the, the kingdom in many ways. And I see a lot of things. I have my reservation, but I love them in spite. I love all of them with all my heart. The same way many people love me in spite of my own imperfections, in spite of my own limitations, they overlook the excellence level of our messages. Some messages are not very clear. They overlook it and focus on what God is doing. That is the same way you must sow that same seed of love. Can't be resentful over everybody. Are we together? Yes, the lady did not cover her hair. Okay, it's alright. Reserve your reservation about your concept there. But it's not enough reason to hate. Oh, the lady covered her hair. Ah, I don't believe in covering of hair. No problem. But it's not enough reason to go around hating people. No, sir. We must love the body. When we do this as a territory, you will see revival break out in Zaria and from Zaria across every part. One worship minister will finish worshiping and hug the other one and give him the mic with joy. Not give him the mic like you have come to stop me from shining. No. The body. Think kingdom, not koinonia. Think kingdom. Think body, not Joshua Selman. Thank God for the honor. Thank God for the loyalty based on administration. But if you want to be effective in the kingdom, you must think beyond me. You must think beyond koinonia. You must think kingdom and the purposes of God. Hold hands together. Though we are many, we are one body. We are one body in Christ. Though we are many, we are one body. We are one body in Christ. One more time, let it be a song of love and unity. Though we are many. Oh, my.
place a love for your body place a love for christians a love for muslims a love for traditional worshipers a love for any and everybody place a love for yoruba people a love for Igbo people a love for northern people lift your voice and pray grace to love Lift your voice and pray. Drive far from your life the spirit of hate. Drive far from your life the spirit of resentment. Exalt the body in love. Build the body in love. Correct Muslims in love. Correct traditional worshippers in love. Deal with your unbelieving relatives with love. It is the love of God that brings them to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, in any way I have contributed to the division of the body within my territory, I ask for mercy. Lift your voice and pray. In any way, through ignorance, through limited spiritual understanding, in any way I have contributed, I have planted the seeds of this God among members. I have planted the seed of this God among men of God, among deacons, among church workers. I have created a sense of competition and appetite to outshine. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. prayer points that were done for tonight next prayer point lord trust me with any dimension of your power available i will not disappoint you it will be for the body not for my members trust me may i be a worthy vessel oh god that you will find to host your prosperity to host your prophetic grace to host the apostolic fire to host leadership, to host administration. Let it please you to trust me. Let it please you to trust me. It will be for your body. It will be for your body. Preservers of divine ordinances. We are going to pray. I want us to spend about five minutes intercede for the body of Christ in this nation. Listen, but particularly intercede for the body of Christ in Zaria. Lord Zaria remains a place of revival. This is where we are domiciled for now, so we pray for the peace of this city. We decree and declare this town remains crisis free. This city remains development conducive in the name of Jesus. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ is favored upon this land. Are we praying? Lift your voice and pray. 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 We pray for the churches in the six geopolitical zones of this nation. We bless them. We strengthen their hands in the spirit. Lord, we declare that there be a supply, a greater supply of the spirit, a greater supply of financial resources, a greater supply of the spirit of illumination, revelation, 
a greater supply of your grace a greater supply of influence we pray for the church in this nation we decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit that the church of the lord jesus christ is standing strong every church every cathedral every pastor every prophet every apostle every priest we decree and declare that their lives permit your purposes to be established across that territory their lives permit your purposes to be established. Their lives permit your purposes to be established. Lord, heal the broken-hearted, broken-hearted men of God, broken-hearted members, broken-hearted churches, broken-hearted denominations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, heal them. Rest more backsliders. Renew anointings. Multiply auctions, multiply encounters. We pray for the church in Zaria, the spiritual heritage that you have placed upon this land. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. It will not be lost. We prophesy that we are preservers, preservers, preservers of the mysteries of healing, preservers of the power of the Holy Spirit, preservers of the unction for revival, for signs, for wonders, preservers of the prophetic, preservers of the apostolic, preservers of the evangelistic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say, Are miracles really real? Do people really get healed? Is it true? It's a big shame that when people are healed, we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power. So we agree that witches and wizards can heal. And then we are saying the Lord of glory cannot heal. Verse 18. Oh, oh, oh. But the Jews did not do what? The Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind. That's another thing. So you either say the man of God is not a genuine man of God or the miracle that happened is not genuine. That's what they said. They said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents. So you can watch people, SS genotype, in your presence chain and you said there's no way. I'm studying medicine or I'm a doctor. This thing cannot happen. Or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called Sadiq Ibrahim? I never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came. He came to give... Some of you were around that miracle service. This guy was a terrorist. He was a terrorist. He was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence. And he came, was dying of HIV, right? Dying of tuberculosis. He had slept in the grave three days. He said he could enter a church and look at a man of God and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of God would just get confused on the stage. So he came for koinonia just like this. And he was sitting outside. Hallelujah. As soon as I came up on stage, when he saw people falling, 
he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or god's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children I just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you who is there like you there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you i lead the earth to worship you hallelujah lord jesus change our situations tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only God that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like I see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease I remember a particular lady I was talking to I think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she will die 
so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here there is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what god is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am on your feet and begin to prophesy i believe you oh i believe i believe i believe i believe i believe, I believe. everywhere inside and outside connect this is the moment of faith i'm about to step back and let this most holy spirit Step into your life. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything? for me to do I am that I am Come on, celebrate the God of miracles oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Is there anything you want for me to do Too hard for me to do I am that I am I am that I am hey. Is there anything Is there anything Too hard for you to do Too hard for him to do. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for him to do? I am that I am. Lift your hands, everybody, and let us worship him. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called. Voices. Emmanuel. Come on, call his name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name. Oh, 
Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is God. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things, what is not possible, with God, involve God and it becomes possible. That sickness will never go, but with God, that sickness suddenly leaves. That situation will never change, but with God. That's why we are singing that song, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, hiya. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. His name is called. Your name is called. Emmanuel. Before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people, mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people, very mightily. By the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving at the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this row let me have the people outside thank you Jesus one two three let the power of God move right now right now Ena na ne na si kanya, saba ne na se na riani. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost, Emmanuel? His name is God, Emmanuel. His name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Bring her, no devil will stop her. Your name is called. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, 
His name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called. One more time. Your name is called. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Lord, your name is called Emmanuel. Jesus, your name is God. Stop, stop. Emmanuel. Lord, your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, his name is called. His name is God, Emmanuel, He is called, Emmanuel, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the presence of God, no demon, no devil, no altar. I don't care what altar of darkness. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalists. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you shout three, the power of God will rush inside and outside, and there will be massive deliverances right now. Are you ready now? One. Two, three, shout Jesus. Shake up a pack of pressure. Couple secretary. I cause powers. Every wicked power. Every demon. Every activity of darkness. I cause you now. 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 Every act of witchcraft. 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost you come under the judgment of God inside and outside right now let the power of God bring deliverance for upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness I see a number of angels you're going to shout Jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you Jesus are you ready now those outside I see the power of God like files of fire one two at the count of three shout Jesus three we dethrone altars we dethrone yokes of darkness hallelujah hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God those outside be sensitive there is so much power I don't know what it is but the, the power of God is so strong outside in the name of our God hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus name of our God Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. I set you free now out of her now that devil of darkness blessed is he who comes in the name of God hallelujah please help her ladies it's not easy I know just find it's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come. Don't force her. She will come. Now. Quickly. I call you Lord. Most high. Don't touch her. She will come by herself. Let her go now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go now thank you Jesus I bring you liberty be free now in Jesus name she's free
in the name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she is delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys let the anointing of the spirit flow through you as you minister in the name of Jesus she will go come lay hands on this lady out of her now thou devil of darkness I cost you I see you in the spirit out out let her go free her time of deliverance is now I speak to you wicked spirit let her go now Jesus died listen let me tell you there is no power listen there is no power that will resist the power of God tonight the Bible says let every soul be subject to the higher powers have you read that in your Bible let every soul be subject when it sees powers that are higher than it it should be subject let every soul hallelujah Esther 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 there is an Esther that is not feeling fine you're sick not just I know there are many Esthers the Lord is ministering to me I don't know what is wrong with that Esther but you need a miracle a healing miracle Esther please let's save time there is a lot we have to do tonight Esther who is Deborah 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 you are outside that Deborah is wearing red you are wearing red red with black spots it's a shirt red with black spots Deborah come your name is Deborah I'm hearing the name Queen Queen is I think that's supposed to be a name Queen who is Queen 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 you are Esther come come on while you hold them look guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 I'm hearing the name Gabriel Gabriel who is Gabriel Gabriel please just save time when I mention your case Gabriel Gabriel is outside outside the Lord is ministering to me outside Gabriel you are is it outside yes Gabriel is outside You are Gabriel, you are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. 
just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, come, 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 come. You must be set free. Now hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now! Out! Now! Blessed is he who comes. I set you free from this captivity. Be free now. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You? We pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus um, the Lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's, there's there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of Jesus I cause that spirit be free now in the name of Jesus let him go I set you free be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names hold my hands look at me look at me I'm seeing you tied not only are you I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people 
are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of god will come upon you and you'll be free just begin to breathe in some of you will feel because the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing it you will feel something leave you just come out of you hallelujah thank you jesus christ be free now out come out of her now in the name of jesus out out of her thank you jesus christ be free right now out out please as i pray for you check yourself he's able out come out i'll pray for you and i'll talk to you In the name of jesus christ i set you free by the power of the holy ghost i set you free by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i set you free be free now in the name of jesus christ be free in the name of jesus christ he's able bring the lady shouting there hey, hey, hey. say he's able let her go in the name of jesus i set you free by the power of the highest Thank God. He's able. God is able. God. God And that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in jesus name complete freedom showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please with that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you people coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? 
this one is a woman who is not you but anyway what's this situation but it's not no 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 what what just straight to the point what happened my body is very hot and the, the head is turning me like move i want to fall this is the spirit of death now you would have died before today hold my hands i want to pray with you you'll be free now thank you jesus i set you free in the name of the lord jesus christ what couldn't you do before Ogasa? what couldn't you do before what couldn't you do before What what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I pray for you. Just just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry. Now, if you want to jump, you fall. Shabia, I prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. <laughs> Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it. Again. Look at this. Is somebody that came? He said he went to Shika. Huh? are you sure don't pretend though are you feeling fine you are completely fine you are here because i saw the spirit of death your own is not just sickness lord it is perfected in the name of jesus please take on your shoes <laughs> hallelujah the lord is showing me somebody with a condition is this my left or right leg this is left my left leg i don't know if it's a if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually played football. Right? You're a footballer? I had a fracture for eight months. You have a fracture. Now, on the leg, there is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come close your eyes open your eyes thank you jesus christ Aya. the holy spirit young gicho wrote a book he said the holy spirit my senior partner watch what happens to this guy now my brother look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right watch i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it stand up stand up jump do what you couldn't do just do it test yourself look at this look at see the guy is even rejoicing this is somebody with a fracture, fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for you here. See, there's no, there's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you do. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. Your leg. Come, 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 don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. Pain there. Let me see. Just, just the, no, 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 you don't need to lift your hand. Just that point. The joint there. How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that. You woke up and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or I should just pray? <laughs> Uh, all right but seriously let's pray hold my hands heal her lord set her free right now the power of god is coming upon you that leg in the name of jesus christ no pain see that's the power of god coming upon your leg check yourself check honestly check yourself look at the power of god is moving strongly check check do you feel any pain you feel any She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. 
that devil has gone never to return again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah goodness the Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now someone you have a hole you used to have a hole in your teeth check it now you will not see that hole there please check it and come out this is a miracle that has just happened now please I'm going to start praying in mass for people but you will be very surprised when when that happens to you just come out quickly the Lord should once God shows me something he has done it please check yourself check yourself we're not faking this thing here make sure you check yourself you will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of Jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please make sure you only come out for the cases I come why is he out eh? okay let me pray for you father for the mother we agree right now let there be freedom in the name of Jesus look at this look at the miracle your teeth is closed now come come please we need a witness we need a witness is it true don't tell lies here you are in the presence of God where is it sorry can you open your mouth for me to see I'm sorry I'm sorry I hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want you to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus will give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who is preparing to go to India for is preparing to go to India for surgery. What of you? Yes, sir. What of you? You you have a heart problem. Since when did you know about it? February. The doctors told you. What did they say is wrong? Palpitation. Palpitation. Oh. Doctor, doctor. Where's that doctor in Ushers? You are the one self. Oh yeah, Ogasa, what does that mean? Doctor, tell us. 
Huh? Say she has palpitations. Abnormal beating of the heart. Ah, okay. It's loud and you can hear it even when she is. So it's a, you don't use stethoscope, you can hear it. So it's a serious situation. She will be healed now. You're a doctor now, wait. You'll go to hospital tomorrow, but for now. My dear, do you believe Jesus will heal you completely? Lay one hand on your chest. Lord, let her be healed right now. The power of God is flowing through you. Just breathe in and out. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. Please check yourself. Lord, have mercy on the Father in the name of Jesus. How do you know now? Try it. Breathe in and out. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection in the name of Jesus. Let there be perfection. The devil wants to bring stroke as I just held you. Huh? Is that true? You're already feeling half of you. Some okay, your dad too of stroke. Because immediately I had I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you. Because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Please follow me, guys. Hallelujah. Most marital delays are demonic in nature. And we're going to arrest it right now. You can stand in for yourself. You can stand in for your loved ones. Please lift your hands, everybody. You'll be amazed at what will happen right now. Everyone, please lift your hands. You can stand for yourself. You can connect. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, I pray that as they shout that name, every, every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny, goodness, I sense the power of God, in the name that is above all names, Father, I pray, that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three I cast those spirits in the name of Jesus. Let God's people go in the name of Jesus. Out of them now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the Lord Jesus. I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shake Rekete Prokotoba. Man bros get We are still going to shout that name over this case. The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One, shake it up, two, get ready now, get ready with your hands lifted. Three, be released now, be released now, be released now. 
I command chains, chains, marital chains, be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Let marital doors open in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, seek out of the book and read. It said, none of this shall fail. None shall want her mate. Ladies, wherever your husband is, in the name that is above all names, I call him into your life. I call him into your life. Listen. Not a man, your husband. Not a man, your husband. May he come into your life in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names. That sister that God has destined for you, we release her into your life now. 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 Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray for all sick people, especially those who have come from everywhere. While you come out, do you have your prayer request? Please. If you don't have it, it's time to begin to write it now. For all those who are sick, you are sick in your body. You came specifically for healing. It's your time now. Please come out. Please come out. Come out. Just come and stand here. Everyone sick. Everyone sick. Inside and outside. Just find your way and line up here. Ushers, just arrange them quickly. Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues and then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Praise the name of Jesus. My God, he He can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. My God, heal. In the name of Jesus. Be healed, mommy. In the name of Jesus. Protect 
My God is thank you, Lord awesome. Jesus Christ. He can move mountains. Healed now. He Please, while you're seated, just pray in tongues. Hide me from Jesus Christ. My God, my God is thank you, Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, be healed, perfection, now, in the name of Jesus, perfection in your body, right now, in the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. All those trusting God for a job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west. In the name that is above all names. I pray. May the Lord give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hands, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray. Let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray. May my God cause them to visit you in the name of jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names the four horns that lift up themselves against judah against jerusalem against israel i command right now let those doors of jobs be open supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive If you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a god that answers prayers here Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it, and once we are done here, but this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. Hallelujah. These requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of god can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of god will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online 
now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah Zekata baba baba kata prega de baladarash. Zekate prondo koso prega de baladarash. Sete pro shapara da baladarara. Zekate baladarabos. Everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say, Lord, whatever I wrote here is turned into a testimony. Zekate ta 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 pakata. Rapaka pro so so pretecate. Sidebo shopron dos coprendecate. Secata tata baladara. Shopro toko to pregade baladara bos. Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, change this situation. Change this situation. Secata tata 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 Rekete bokoto prekete baladabos, bataka papa kate, e prekete lekete, sote kete pros, e prekete lekete tete, rekete rekeshe, e pros ko proto suba, lekete baladabaka tapregete baladabos. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand. Those who are visiting with us, all those who are who came from outside Zaria, please come out. I'll minister to you now. I want you to come out expecting the Lord. There are so many people who have come from different places. Please just come out. Sit up. I'll pray for them. And I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but we are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from kogi state eddie from joss Lunge from Abuja. I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing you will carry an anointing in the name of jesus christ just clash the symbols please play strings 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 in the name of jesus anoint them in the name of jesus be blessed Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Walk in greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. 
in the name of Jesus. You do glorious things. You're unfaithful. Take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. You're Take this anointing with you. In the name of Jesus, awesome to your locality, today. do mighty things for the King. Takababala, takababala, takababala. Breathe. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, anointing. Oh, anointing. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit break through. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let an anointing come. Great apostolic sign. Great apostolic wonders. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing 
inside and outside take it now by the power of the holy ghost take it now take it now go and heal the sick go and heal the sick you will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed you will cast out devils receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it i pray i command the prophetic let it be activated now prophetic fountains be open now visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it and unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions sopotopate i command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah stop i'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the bible in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now i activate the full power of the spirit i activate it inside and outside take it let the holy ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it gifts of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hands hold your hand take it now take it now i activate the gifts of the spirit every apostolic ministry in this place take the fire take the fire take the fire every apostolic ministry take the fire every prophetic ministry take the fire take the fire take the fire hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom Sekete, rekete, rekete, tete, makapratike, 
Empretos kepa matos kopo rekete. Satete baka bala bala. Now I want to prophesy very quickly. Please, I want you to shout Amen. Every closed door over your life, in the name that is above all names, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Every closed door, be open now. 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 I pray right now. Every opportunity you have lost, I don't care what it is. I prophesy right now. Receive restoration. Receive restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration now. Receive restoration now. Hallelujah. Every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names, I command those families to be free now. Be free now. Free from hardship. Free from hardship. The Bible says to appoint unto them that morning in Zion. I pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names. I cause it to its root now. I cause it to its root now. I cause it to its root now. I pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life, every destiny helper, I don't care where they are right now, in the name of Jesus, like prophet Ezekiel, I call them Matebalaya. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Destiny help us arise, come forth. Destiny help us arise, come forth. Destiny help us arise, arise. Hallelujah. Wherever you have faced resistance in your life, may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names, as I prophesy right now, let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado. Go back to where they rejected you and watch my God make a way for you. I command favor. I command favor. In the name of Jesus, whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny, let the blood speak for you now. Let the blood speak for you now. Any terminal disease here, any terminal disease here, we terminate it once and for all. In the name of Jesus. Every dying destiny, every dying destiny, like the bones in the book of Ezekiel, hear ye the word of the Lord. Whatever you have that is dying, whether it's your business, whether it's your family, whether it's your relationship, whether it's your marriage, I come with a prophetic voice. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Come alive now. Come alive now. Come alive now. Come alive now. I prophesy that by the next miracle service, you will return with a change of garment. 
that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here I pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of Jesus I release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing I command ministry grow church grow in the name of Jesus hallelujah Lord we give you the praise I'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made Jesus Lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a Christian but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ I'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying Lord I return to you I don't care whether you've been born again before please I want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you are making a decision for the Lord Jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the Lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them I believe there are people God bless you God bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage God bless you God bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and God gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you Jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming God bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you Jesus hallelujah I salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem I want you to say after me Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe you died for me I believe you shed your blood to set me free I receive that freedom tonight and I receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of Jesus from today I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God Holy Spirit come and live in me I make up my mind to live for Jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the Lord Jesus may your Christian experience be authentic in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate Jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the Lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do Lord Jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah
Thank you so much for coming. All of you who took out the time to come. We really celebrate you. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia Ministry put to, a program put together by Eternity Network International. Thank you so much for coming. We are here every Friday. Not this exact venue, but every Friday. As God grants you the grace, it will always be a blessing having you around. Praise the Lord. We have a blessing in the house. And this is the gift we release to everyone who comes. And I want the saints of God to stretch their hands and just bless you. I want you to receive it. Please bless them. Professor, you have a blessing upon your lips. I want you to speak it. We bless you. Let the hand of God be strong upon your life. In the name of Jesus, we bless you with hunger for the things of the Spirit. We bless you with passion for God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you with advancement. We bless you with favor. We bless you with speed. In the name of Jesus, may you experience the power of God strong in your life. We bless your finances. Let the heavens be open over your life. In the name of Jesus, thank you again for coming. We love you and we celebrate you. Now, we'd just like you to follow the ushers, that gentleman waving his hands, and they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf. Koinonia, celebrate them very much. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.